If you've ever thought an artist has it all together, think again. If you've ever put them up on a pedestal, think again, we struggle. We struggle with the grays coming in our hair. We struggle with what we look like on camera. And sometimes we struggle with boredom, with an artist block, not knowing what to paint, not knowing how to be creative. Sometimes I go through my reference books because I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I know I have to create because it is part of my job, but that puts a lot of pressure on things. So why am I talking about this? So here's the thing. I've been thinking a lot about this idea of putting people up on a pedestal. I was having a conversation with someone I know this week and this idea sprung up in me. This idea that when we admire someone that we see on social media, we see them around, out and about, and we are enamored by the success or the idea of the success that we see them having, we think, my goodness, that is unattainable. That person has amazing talent, they know exactly where to get what they're wanting to get, and I could never get there. So this is why I'm saying stop putting us on a pedestal. Now, I'm saying those words just like that because I have done the same thing in many aspects of my life. When I've admired someone for their craft, for their ideas, I don't know the struggle. I don't know the journey. I don't know how long it took them to get where they're at today. And I just see them succeeding, being good at what they do, having followers, having admirers, and I never get to see that part where they did have to struggle and work really hard and experience failure. So today, as we are painting some loose anemone, I wanna continue this conversation because I wanna encourage you today to take a deep breath, remind yourself that if there is someone in the artistic world that you admire, remember how long it took them to get to this point. So we're just gonna do some little sunburst shapes here with some black for the centers of our anemone. And then we'll start putting in our petals with some juicy, loose color, the large dagger brush here. And I do wanna do a variety of values, so some darker and some lighter. But guys, I wanna encourage you today to change the narrative. Remember, I'm not only an artist, but I am a mental health therapist. And I just wanna encourage you guys that if there is something you want to achieve and you are not that role at this time, keep a positive attitude knowing that it takes practice, it takes time, it takes determination, it takes failure. There's this idea called growth mindset and this idea is that when you fail, when you receive feedback that is not favorable, that is a moment where you can change and it is also not something that has to do with your character. It's a moment in time where something hasn't gone well and you can use it as a way to inform how you keep changing and trying again. The light bulb wasn't created overnight. There were many trials and failures and it's the same thing with wanting to be an artist or a creative. You just keep at it and you keep improving. We're not looking for perfection, we are looking for improvement. So here we are adding in now some various colors for our petals and I'm still using that large brush because, well, it's just giving me the loose marks that I desire here. And you know, you can choose what you'd like to do. It's really up to you. As you see right here, I am removing some paint because I put down some wet petals and then the black metal started to spread into the petals. This is all trial and error, people. I don't have everything figured out. I just love teaching you guys the way in which I like to paint loose florals, but we're all on this journey and we're all trying to figure it out together. But the people that are willing to be determined, you're gonna just see a lot more progress. So as we are adding in these stems and keeping them nice and loose here, and we have five blooms, so five stems here, but you know, I'm not worried too much about how I'm placing them. I do like to curve them slightly. I just think that looks nice and adds to our composition. And then we'll add in leaves as well as details and that will help balance out our composition quite nicely. So I am starting with these leaves. I'm looking at the photo and I'm, I'm trying to kind of emulate that, but I like to just drag my brush around and it's the idea of leaves, a little bit of that scrubbing motion on your paper. 
as you're filling in white spaces and on that right bottom section there's not there's a lot of white space and so I want to add some more leaves just to keep it from looking too heavy on one side so I hope you're hearing me I hope you're understanding if you have for example a dream of being an artist you can get there and if you practice art you should call yourself an artist it's a slow process but like everything else it's worth it my story is that Several years ago, I started posting on social media, started with Instagram, and I was really determined to go viral. That was my whole thing. And I started making reels, and they were not great because I was figuring it all out. Here we're just adding in some lovely, sketchy, darker hues or darker values so that we can create some texture and shadows for our flowers. And I eventually started to teach people through my reels, but I was posting literally three reels a day, especially on TikTok. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I was determined that I wanted to have that engagement, get that viral experience so that I could grow my following and then really put my artwork out there and see, of course, my, my idea was to sell on Etsy, which has not really panned out for me, but I've learned that I love teaching you guys not only how to paint with watercolor, but using my mental health background to relax, throw perfectionism away and just use it as self-care for a reprieve for your brain when you're frustrated, when you're sad, when you're angry, and just have a nice safe space for you. So I did go viral with a TikTok video, but it took me eight months of posting three videos a day. It was insane. I wouldn't recommend it. I was determined, but that doesn't mean it's always gonna work out how you want it to. I just got really lucky in that aspect. But that doesn't mean that I've arrived or I'm this professional. I'm just trying to have fun and I'm trying to inspire you guys to have fun with your creativity. Our brains need to express ourselves from the right side of our brain to be able to experience that, that beautiful relaxation that comes from being creative. So here I'm adding in all kinds of marks, scribbly marks, scrubby marks, and I'm not worried about symmetry. I am not worried about where specifically something goes. I paint quickly because it does help me to not overthink because my brain will take over and it keeps me from being successful in painting loose and enjoying the process. We want to enjoy every brushstroke, not just hoping we'll have a perfect end result. I hope that makes sense. And the same thing goes for you with your journey as an artist. Don't think that tomorrow you'll wake up and perfectly everything will be great. Remind yourself that this is a process. It takes time and it takes effort and it takes failure so that you know what you don't want to do and what you want to do differently next time. Here, I'm still having an issue with that center. Things are spreading weird. So I'm just going with it, taking off some of the paint with a clean, damp brush and we'll have another go at it as it dries. I have to be patient, just like with this watercolor journey or whatever it is you're reaching for, guys. Remember, don't put others on a pedestal. If you see something you admire, work towards it, guys. Here's our final painting. It makes me happy. Happy painting, you guys, and happy mental health.